Growing up, I was very much into the outdoors. I was always on my bike. In fact, for a long time, even after I had my driver's license, I preferred to ride my bike everywhere because I just love to be active. I'm riding horses with my kids. She'd come play with the horses with us as much as she could. Yeah. She'd just be outside with us and we'd just hang out. When I was 16, 17, I started just having very weird physical symptoms that weren't making sense. Extreme fatigue, loss of balance, extreme headaches. And then I started getting um, numbness and tingling um, on the right side of my body. I started working at the Salt Lake Airport in a very, very busy restaurant. I was tripping a lot. I was dropping things. I was forgetting orders. A doctor came in with these scans in his hands, you know, um, put them up to look at them. And in my mind, I thought, this isn't good. Like the look on his face. And he said, you've got 18 lesions on your spine. You've got six on your brain and lesions that are consistent with multiple sclerosis. I just remember just being in complete shock. I didn't realize how bad it was when she told us. And then one day we went to the grocery store and we were just walking in the parking lot and she just fell and she just lost all feeling in her legs. And that's when it hit me like how bad it really was. I lived in a little small town outside of Logan and um, there were three canyons right there. And um, I was able to walk those canyons a lot. I've got four kids. Um, my first fear is, of course, as a mom, how am I gonna take care of them? I was worried, I was scared. There was a possibility that, you know, she wouldn't be with me the next year, and it was tough. She won't tell you when she needs help, or she, she just- She'll tell you when she's hurt, and she'll just, she doesn't want, she didn't, I think she didn't want to scare us, but she's strong. She's so strong. I remember very clearly what it was like to have no hope. I remember very clearly what it was like to have not only one, but two doctors look at me and say, we are running out of options. You most likely will be in an assisted living center on a feeding tube within five years, and most likely you'll be paralyzed because your disease isn't stopping. A friend of mine found out about adult stem cell and uh, shared that information with me, started researching it. For me, it was, well, I can die waiting for a pharmaceutical drug that's gonna stop this. And I'm thinking, well, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna do it fighting. When I was told about the procedure, somehow I knew that this was gonna change my life. It was like my life was starting over again. I had a new chance at life. I literally felt better than I ever had. I remember my first thought being, is this what healthy people feel like? <laughs> Part of the ways that my daughters helped me in recovery were, um, they were there for me emotionally. I mean, emotionally and physically. I have so much gratitude for the doctors, scientists, researchers who have been working for a long time in the stem cell arena. I am here because of adult stem cell therapy. Every day I get stronger, I work at it, but it's work I'm happy to do because adult stem cell therapy has been such a huge miracle in my life.